Dave asks, uh, we previously used POP3 with an email address in Outlook as a team email address. Each user, so three of them, would be able to read and send from the email address and also maintain our inbox with read or unread messages separately. Now that POP3 can't be used with Outlook, we are exploring shared email address, but need each user to be like before, that when user A reads the email, it does not show as read on user B or user C's inbox until they read it. Each user needs to be mutually exclusive of the inbox status. Microsoft is telling me that it's not possible. Is this true? And if so, ideas on how to work around that and stay in Outlook. Well, from my standpoint, it's to just keep doing what you've been doing. POP3 is not going away. What's going away is basic authorization for POP3, which that means is you need to have you need to now use modern authorization, which means 2FA, MFA, whatever you want, and an app specific password. And you should be right back in business with everything. Well, that was easy. Okay. <laughs> and, and there you heard it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's basic auth that's going away, not POP3, not IMAP, that the, the protocols themselves are just fine. They've been around a long time and they'll continue to be around for a long time. What is going away is, is straight <clears throat> username, password, authentication, good old fashioned basic auth. It's it's gone. You now need modern auth and that's that's OAuth too. And the way you get to, you get to OAuth too is either you've got something that negotiates OAuth with the with the server itself, which unfortunately, to my knowledge, no pop client does. Uh, Outlook does for the newer versions of Outlook. I believe it's. I'm not sure if it's 20 if it's it goes back as far as 2016. I believe it does, however. But any event, uh, for an IMAP account, uh, Outlook will support and will work with OAuth too, which means you don't need to use app-specific passwords and stuff like that with Gmail accounts, unless it's a POP account. Unfortunately, nothing does uh, OAuth do from the POP standpoint. From there, you've got to go with modern auth, which in the case of a POP account means an application-specific password. That's so good. I Works when I read this question, time. when I first read this question, I'm like, wait, what? Because I host my own domains. I have several businesses and I use POP3 and um, to get that email into Outlook so I can manage it. And I was like, wait, what is going away? I had a little moment. So thank you, mm -hmm. Hal, for giving me a little piece. <laughs> so, so you know what it comes down to? Is exactly what you're using, the configuration you're using, and what the end result is, and understanding what all of it means. Microsoft uses a lot of jargon, things that they say, hey, this is going away, this is going away, that puts a lot of people on edge. <laughs> Sherry, you and I have been on like, ah, you know, yeah. those edge, yeah. it's making sure you fully understand what Microsoft is changing. Definitely read into the details. Um, do some follow up on it because in this instance, you know, how is 100 percent correct? Not a lot is really changing as long as, you know, these things are uh, these things are handled, which majority of the time they already are if you're using that functionality. Um, so you just have to, you know, to really deep dive into it and understand what Microsoft is saying and not just take it for the, you know, the five words they use in a title kind of scenario just the five deep, words deep. that i understand out of yeah. all that oh exactly and yeah. left to yeah well, all that yeah. blah 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 <laughs> stuff is ending like you know don't don't listen to that read deep into it a little bit uh more because how is 100 correct there's no reason why they should be impacted whatsoever mm -hmm.